Result of the voting is as follows. 十票赞成 Ten votes in favor. 零票反对 Zero vote against. 五票弃权 Five abstentions. 决议草案获得通过 The resolution is adopted. 成为 D 幺九七三两千一一号文件 An S slash nineteen seventy three. 2011. Well, Hannah Thomas Peter is at uh, the UN in New York for us now. Hannah, what are the practicalities? What does this now mean now that the resolution has been passed? Well, events moving very quickly at the Security Council.、Um, they adopted it by ten、uh, votes, four, and then five abstentions, which we. Thought might have been coming. That was enough, of course, to push it through. And as you say, now there is a difficult question: What now? That's what's being reflected by Emma and Lisa in Libya. And Mark Lyle Grant, the ambassador to the UN, was being pressed there already on the detail. Was it possible that people would be able to act now? He was asked、uh, within the next couple of hours if Gaddafi's forces were going to attack Libyan civilians.、Um, how long would it take him to do so?、Uh, Mark Lyle Grant did. Say that it wasn't up to him to comment on the operational matters, and it was up to individual governments to now arrange how they're going to carry out these measures. But that's the big question, and it was the question for states like Russia and India and China, who abstained, who used their vote to abstain. And inside the Security Council, Russia said, "Look, there are many questions." Still left unanswered here. We don't know who's going to be responsible for enforcing these measures, and we don't know about the limits of these measures. India said that it was worried about respect for sovereignty. So, a few states there, a few powerful states with real reservations, and now there are questions about how these measures, this no-fly zone, this ceasefire, this ability to adopt all necessary measures to protect Libyan civilians on the ground. How all of that is actually going to be enforced? Hannah, for the moment, thank you very much. We are now going to take a look at some of the morning's front pages. Obviously, they've、uh, gone to print before this、uh, breaking news this evening of the resolution being passed. But the Independent does lead on Libya and quotes Colonel Gaddafi as saying, "Now it's a fight to the death." The Sun says war has been declared on Gaddafi after the UN Security Council resolution was passed. The Financial Times says there's now pressure for the UN to allow military action in Libya. That's also the Times' take on the story. While the Guardian says international forces are already prepared to help protect the rebel stronghold of Benghazi. The I paper reports that Gaddafi has already begun his assault on Benghazi. Well, let's、uh, cross live now to Tripoli. We're expecting a, a form of a news conference that、uh, Lisa. We spoke to a little earlier, and she said that this was、uh, planned and on the itinerary for this evening. So we're expecting a news conference to take place this evening. Journalists gathered to, to hear the latest response to that vote this evening on the UN resolution being passed. In the meantime, we're going to speak to、uh, Professor George Joffe on the phone. He's an expert on Libya at Cambridge University. Good evening to you. Good evening. What, what's your reading on the passing of the resolution this evening? How will that affect the situation in Libya in the immediate future? Well, the big question, and the one we don't know the answer to, is to what extent plans already have been made by the major powers concerned to actually intervene. My guess is that the resolution was made in the wake of decisions taken in private. Let's take you to Tripoli now. I understand, now. and then he will maybe listen to some questions、no, or escape away. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we will see. Okay. We will see.、Yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all,、uh, no, 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 no. English. And I don't translate in Arabic. Translate in English. I translate in English. <laughs> Why not? Let me look for the wireless microphone first. No, no, you can.、Uh, we can share. We can. You share. can share the microphone. No problem.、Uh, <laughs> once again, good morning and thank you. I know it's hard、uh, to wake you up at this、uh, time. صباح الخير لكم جميعا. أعرف أنه من الصعب إيقاظكم في هذه الساعة المبكرة من اليوم. It's one thirty already.